Chris, the receiver room has really looked good this year, I guess. Uh, with, just let's talk about the room as a whole first and what are you seeing and how you guys are really pushing each other. And then you individually, could you talk about the gains that you made this summer to be the player you want to be this fall? Um, as far as the room as a whole, you know, we got a lot of new guys uh, that came in. So we basically taking it day by day, seeing improvements every day. And that's kind of the main goal each day, just to get better each day. Uh, me personally, from the spring to now, I made a, a bunch of huge jumps, and that's mainly because my focus is different. Like I'm attacking each day uh, the same way now. So yeah. In what way? I mean, like let's let's talk about your improvement. Like, in what way do you did the light bulb come on for you that you feel like all right, this is my time? Mainly because I'm 100% healthy now. You know, in the spring I kind of had, I still had like uh, the shoulder injury uh, still lingering, but now I'm completely healed. You said you have new players in there, but when I look at the guys that are there, they were there last year, the front end guys, Brian, Kyron, Malik, yourself, you know, just how much have you all pushed each other over the off season to really kind of elevate the room? I mean, personally, you want competition in that room and we all push each other each and every day. And we also push the young guys too, and we hold them to a high standard. So after a couple of years with the program, you feel like you're kind of poised for a breakout season this year? Uh, yes, sir. Like I said, I'm 100% healthy now. I feel like myself, my confidence is back, so yeah. And overall, these two quarterbacks that you're mainly working with, how better are they today than, say, a year ago at this time? Um, we've seen a bunch of improvements from both of them from last year to this season, and that's something that you want to see with your quarterbacks. What is uh, Cortez really stressing as far as the receiver room and what you guys need to display out there on the practice field? Basically, play, fa play fast every play and be key on the small details because that's the stuff that matters. What is that? Is that getting off the line, foot placement, hands? Where, like, kind of walk me through, I guess, some of the things that he's really stressed. Basically, basically uh, play assignments, like knowing the small details in the play, knowing what you're doing, and then finishing routes. What have you seen from Malik as far as really elevating to that, that next level? Uh, for him, I've seen him take more of a leadership role this year than it was last year. So that's something that I like to see. And Aaron Anderson's a guy that's getting a lot of talk. You know, what do you see in his game and, and how exciting is it once he gets the ball in his hands? Man, that's like another playmaker in the room and we're always happy to have him. Uh, Shelton Sampson Jr. for a true freshman, is he picking, on, uh, picking up pretty quickly? Uh, yeah, you know, every freshman has, has their days. But for him, he's attacking each day with the same mindset. And that's something that, that he has to keep doing in order to, to get better. I guess Mike kind of asked you about it, but year two of the Denbrock offense and the Brian Kelly system and all that, is it easier uh, or you know what to expect now? Are you more productive instead of being told, hey, this is how we do it? Uh, with the second year being in the offense, it's coming more natural now. You get to play, you automatically know what to do. You know the other assignments. So, I know you grew up here in Louisiana, and maybe you're not allowed to talk about the heat and the weather, but how challenging has this camp been out there? Probably the hottest one that I've been in, to be honest with you. Chris, when you talk about being healthy now, can you just give us a little bit of kind of peek behind the scenes for you, what it was like going through some of those injuries the last few years, going back to high school, frustrations, challenges, and how good it feels to be feeling good physically now? Um, going back to my freshman year, which was, I think, my left knee or my right knee, it'll one arm, uh, it could put you in a dark place mentally. And I was in that dark place for a long, a long time. and. I was able to bring myself out of it just by basically keeping faith in God. And now I'm 100% healthy, and I owe everything to him. And that's why you see what you see now. You um, talked about, obviously, the you know physical part and how you got healthy. But like, what are some of the mental things that you did do to get completely healthy? Shoot. Prayed almost every day, attacked rehab every day. And I was thankful for my, uh, for my trainers. Where were all your injuries? Uh, tore my, well, first high school, had a list rank injury in my foot. 
tore both meniscus and a torn labrum in my shoulder. Shoulder was last year? Yeah. So what do you want out of this year? I mean, you got a great opportunity, you know, with a, a really skilled quarterback that can get the ball down the field. Is, you feel like now's your chance? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Like, my goal this year, I just want to basically make a name for myself.